Hi guys, it's Tony and today I'm going to show you how to do this simple fixed navigation menu in Framer in only a few minutes. And as always, you can follow the link in description and remix this file easily so you can keep working on the same file for free. Alright, so I have set up my Framer site already and it consists of four pages, Home, About, Store and Contact. And what we want to do first is actually to create a component for each of the menu items. So let's start by writing down, let's say, a page in here. And let's go to Insert menu, go to the icons and select the icon pack that you want to use. Let's make it a bit smaller. And now we can select both of them, create a stack. And let's set both of these to be fit and let's remove the background actually for now we can have some background in there and uh, let's give it a little bit of padding in here and a little bit of border radius like this and let's call this a list item for example and now we can just create a component out of this and in here we actually let's first of all start by turning the icons to be c4 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 and the text to be c4 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 as well since this actually will become our disabled state so we can call this disabled <coughs> and let's now remove the fill from this then we want to create a hover state which we actually want to go back to the fill and let's give it a value of full white and let's set this to be like 15% and let's give the text full value, full white as well and the icon to be white as well when you're hovering and then we want to create a third state which we call active so this is when the page has been selected in the menu and again let's create this value of white white and here we go. We can actually make this typeface a bit thicker, so perhaps medium, for example, works in here. So now if we preview, you can see that on hover, it gets highlighted a bit better. And now we want to, first of all, add a link to this main component, and let's create a variable of this link. Then, therefore, we can just duplicate this component and change the values inside the page and also what we want to do is we want to create this icon as variable as well so go here create variable let's rename this to be an icon and here we go and also this text we also want to be a variable so again let's go here create variable plain text and this we can call page and this is it. This is the structure for what we want to do. And actually for the active state, we also want to give some fill value. So let's give it a full white and let's say that 20% for example. <clears throat> and now we have this in our page where we are working. So now we can just like copy paste that one. And now as you can see, we want this link to be into the home since this is actually going to be our home page so let's change all of these variables to match what we want to have so you can easily now control everything through here so actually let's add one more thing in here as a variable so basically a new tab and this means whether it opens uh, a link to a new tab or not so basically if you want to link inside your page it's good that it goes it doesn't open a new page but if you want to open an external page like a twitter page youtube page or so on then it's good to have that new tab to be set as yes but now we have a about page which we can easily edit from here and actually let's now select both of these and create a new stack let's set width and height to be fit and this we can set to no and actually we want this to be aligned to the left side of the screen so they they are balanced so let's see 
exactly like this. So change the distribute to be at the start and we are good to go. And now we can easily just duplicate these and modify these to match our menu. All right, so here's the stack we just created. So let's select that one and let's create a new stack on top of that one. And let's call this stack a menu. And this is basically our menu that we are going to have. Change the direction to be from top to bottom. This way we can basically duplicate different sections inside that inside the menu like this super easily. And now let's change the field to be black one. Also make sure that this inner stack is set to be fill. So now what we want to do is actually we want it to be the distribution to be set as start and let's set it, give it some padding. So 40 to top, 24 to right, bottom can be 40 as well. And left can be 24. And now we want to place this inside the desktop. So let's just copy this, place it inside the desktop and change the position to be fixed. And now you can see from the values in here that it has gone somewhere, I don't know where, but let's change the top to be zero and the left to be zero. So now it's basically fixed position in the top left corner of the screen. And also make sure that the height, height is set to be 100 VH, meaning that it fills the whole viewport. And now, as you can see, it basically works kind of nicely in here, but as you can see, it's on top of our content. So we have to fix our desktop breakpoint a bit. So select the breakpoint, go to the padding and give the left padding the same value that our navigation is. And now it works super smoothly. Now, when you have set up the menu, you can super easily just drag and drop new items in there. So for example, I have this social section created, which you can drop in there. Also, I have this logo created as well, that you can just move in here. Also make sure that these are set to width and that the social section is set to width fill as well. And here we go, you can also change the gap between them super easily from here. So what we can do now is actually let's select the menu and let's turn this into the component, which we can call menu. And here we can just set this to be variant one. So let's call this home. Variant two, we can call about. Variant three, store. Variant four, contact. And now, Basically, you can just set up each of these variants to be home is active here. In all of these three, that's set to be disabled. In about, this should be active. Active. Oh, sorry. Store was set to be active here and contact in here. And now, but from the first, you can easily add the corresponding links to right places. So store about and this goes to home and these will be taken into different pages. So this goes to YouTube page, this goes to Instagram page, this goes to Twitter page and this will open a new tab but these ones won't. And now we can just go into the different pages and copy this component, paste it here, and again make sure that this desktop is set to be have the same width as the component is. And uh, let's just rep duplicate these steps in here, like this. Oh, be too many zeros. And also, actually, remember to change the variant to be the matching ones at the store here about in here and 240 and contact in here and now when we preview you can see that the menu stays in place and you can easily change 
besides from here and if you press from here it opens a new page but that was it this time i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and if you want to see more of these videos feel free to subscribe to my channel and also like this video and let's see you again in the next video see ya